And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming back again and again. Till I see your face. Cardo, I'm an old business acquaintance of your former boss, Baron Marx. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. That still doesn't tell me what you're doing in my house. I came for my money. What money? The 300,000 Baron Marx owes me. I don't know what you're talking about, and I definitely don't know anything about any money, so you need to get out. We all know you were Baron's errand boy, Lem. You set the meeting, which means you were aware that Baron and I were laundering money through the multiplex. Was my wife. I need you to focus. Who the fuck is my wife? In my line of business, I learned the best way to get a man to do what you want is to touch what's nearest and dearest to him. I want my 300 grand. Where do you think I'm gonna get $300,000 from? I don't care where you get it from. To call or listen, man. No. You gotta listen to me. You got 48 hours to get my money. Now, I know I don't have to tell you this, but just so there's no misunderstanding, tell anyone, call the police, pray to God for help, and I'll kill everything. Good night. This is Lem. Let me speak to Bird. She stepped out. Can I take a message? Miss Jenkins! Who is it? It's, it's me. Open up. Who? It's Lem. Open the door. Come on. Lem, what you doing knocking on my door like you the police? Sorry, Miss Jenkins. Uh, is, is everything okay with Jay? Everything's fine. What's wrong? Where is he? He's in the living room playing. Lem, what the hell's going on? Nothing. I, um, uh, I had the afternoon off, and I, I decided to come by and pick him up early. I'll go grab his things. you and the new boss making out. What do you mean? Your new boss. He said you were nervous about him being a hard-driving man from New York and all. Oh, oh, he's fine. He does pile on the work, though. So have you talked to Brian yet? Called him yesterday. And? He didn't return my message. 
It's probably really messed up. Are you okay? Well, I'm not gonna say it's been easy. You know, he's always had my back at work, and now that he's not there, let's just say the piranhas are closing in. I'm not talking about work, Terry. Your table is ready if you'd like to follow me. Oh, okay. You know, when you think about it, you and Brian have been joined at the hip since law school. Well, that's not the case anymore. You could always change your mind, Terry. It's not too late. I just think he'd be good for you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm worried about you. <sighs> and before a minute or two, you were going through one night stands the way Kenny goes through dirty socks. I can't believe you, Maxine. You know, you weren't exactly supportive of me dating a white man. And now all of a sudden you've caught jungle fever? But we're talking about Brian. Terry? Huh? Hi, Charles. How are you? Fine. You? Oh, good. 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 Um, oh, uh, Charles, this is my sister Maxine. Maxine, Charles. How you doing? Hi. Great. Um, well, I'll, I'll let you two get back to your lunch. Good meeting you, Maxine. Nice to meet you, too. All right. Hi. Uh, uh, <laughs> Friend of yours? I'm so sorry. Hi. 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 Oh, that's okay. No, just a guy in. Uh, I met in a coffee shop. Do you see how young that girl is? These old ass men should be ashamed of themselves. God. Yes, he looks about 12. And someone should tell her that underwear is just that. Underwear. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's up, Sandra? You seen Bert? No. Can you hold Jay for a second? Sure. She's at lunch. She was supposed to meet me at the house for lunch. That's your business. Well, where does she go? Who the hell are you now, Shabs? Nisi, I don't have time to fuck around with you right now. I need to speak to my wife. Okay, okay. She should be back any minute. She got a client coming in at 12.30, so she went to grab a quick lunch. Tell me where she went. I would if I knew. She's probably in the mall trying to get a quick bite to eat. Sandra, you see Bird, tell her to call me. I'm going to look for her. If she comes back, tell her to call me on the oh, stuff. Yes, Checking to see if you needed anything. Um. Uh. We're well, cool. Okay. Your mom doesn't like me. What? Come on, that's the third time she's checked on us in the last hour. Oh, trust me, she's just nosy like that. Well, maybe we should study at my place from now on. My mom's cool. Sounds good. She back yet? No. I thought you said she had a client. She does. Was that 
Bird? Yeah, um, she's at she's at home. We 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 missed each other. Look, she's not feeling well, um, so she's gonna she's she's gonna stay out for for a few days. But the, you know, Bird, she uh, she'll be back before for she's ready, right? Um, can you cover some of her class today? Y'all better hope I never get sick or nothing. I don't know what would happen. I'm not the only girl that works in this shop. Nisi, can you cover her clients or not? Sure. Thank you. And remember, the first part of the salida, or the beginning, is the backward single step walk. The first part of the salida, or the beginning, is the backward single step walk. It even sounds confusing. Yeah. No wonder I keep leading with my wrong foot. Oh, well, you have some foot problems. What? You keep forgetting to keep your weight on the balls of your feet. I do not. Yeah, not following through with your free foot. You're the one who's moving too fast. I'm holding the beat. Something you should try to do. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too old for you. Yeah. You might need a younger dance partner. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Charles. If you're not going to respect the girl's parents, the least you can do is respect yourself. That 19-year-old video hoochie you were with today. She's my daughter. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I just want to be clear. No. You did just call my daughter Hoochie. No, no. Yeah, yes, yes, you did. You said video Hoochie. But I didn't know she was your daughter, and I would have never said that. Ah, you wouldn't have said it, but uh, that's what you think? But you're not going to make this easy, are you? Uh-uh. I'm having too much fun watching you try and get that foot out of your mouth. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Mm-hmm. I told you you had some I... foot problems. But I'm flattered that you would be so jealous. You're kidding, right? No. And your original <sighs> assumption is correct. What's that? You are too old for me. I prefer my women young in spirit. You're, um, way too uptight. Okay, last time I'm gonna say this. My sign-up sheet has a lot of empty spaces. You must, I repeat, must participate in the dance recital at the end of this course. So, get a partner and sign up. Excuse me. I'm gonna go get a partner. Hello? Hey, put my floody sister on the phone. Oh, hey, Terry, I can't. She's sleeping. She wasn't feeling well today. Ugh. Well, I just want to confirm my appointment. Half the time, she doesn't even put me in the book. Are you sure she's asleep? Yes, I'm sure, Terry. I'll let her know you called, all right? I gotta go. But... Bye, Terry. What? I think this stuff has been in too long. No, we're good. Yeah, well, I don't want it too light. Terry, if you didn't trust me, then you should have waited for Bird. Well, 
I tried to call her behind this morning, but Lynn said she still wasn't feeling well. Oh. And she told him to tell me to get it. you. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nisi. Nisi. Get this. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. My hair is blonde. Oh. I told you it was in too long. Okay. Does oh. see your point? God. I'll recolor it free of charge. Nisi, I have a meeting in an hour. Just tell your secretary to cancel the meeting. I can't. This is just great. Look at you. You're a mess. You need to get out of those clothes. Because in a hot second, that stuff will eat right through them. Well, I'm not walking around naked. Of course not. Bird keeps spare clothes in the back. I'll go get you some. Fine. I'll put on Bird's clothes, but then I'll go look for an outfit on my way to work. What's up, Chuck? Larry, what you doing? I need to holler at you about something. Don't tell me you're in the glass stick, man. I can't be serving you. After all the shit we've been through. Come on, man. Wake up. What the fuck is wrong with you? I ain't smoking. I need some work. A lot of it. I got some loot, but I need some more consignment. Consignment? Man, ain't no one getting that type of love right here no more. I mean, niggas hold bullets over consignment? Chuck, you know I'm good for it. Truth is, I got no weight. Just drought, everything dried up. Bush fucked up the economy. You're supposed to be out the game anyway. Right? Look, man, I need big cash fast. I need 300 Gs by Friday. <laughs> 300. What you got yourself into? Serious. You ready to get grimy? What's up? I, I heard about these Jamaican cats at the Camo Apartments. Supposedly, they're sitting on major weight and a shitload of paper. How you know about all this? My girl sister messes with one of them. All he's doing is yapping at the mouth, shorted like a million dollars in cash. The gang loaded dope. So what you want to do, Jack? No, I want to go ask him if I can apply for a line of credit. What the fuck you think? <sighs> fuck you, let's do it. Jamaicans is crazy as hell. And they strapped like it's Beirut. And my girl says every night around 8 o'clock, they all go to eat food except one cat. He stays at the spot. And that's when we get him. My daughter, Haley. Haley, this is Terry Joseph. She's in my dance class. Terry Joseph. Hi. Hi. Did you go to Northwestern? Yes. I read an article about you in the school newspaper. I thought that was you. I couldn't really tell because, well, it's your hat. Yeah. Great article, though. Thank you. Yeah, you look nice. Like mm. uh, you could be in a music video. 
Thanks for the compliment, Charles. Mm. Going somewhere? No. Why do you ask? Well, you're in a travel agency. I thought you might be going on a trip. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Uh. Well, uh, I have to go. Hmm. Well, it's good seeing you. Yes. See you around. Yes. You too. It was a pleasure meeting you, Haley. You too. Yes. <clears throat> it's dead wrong when you see old ass women trying to dress young. It's so wrong. <laughs> Are you sure your mom won't mind? No. Like I said, she's cool. Are these your books? No. They're my mom's. But I like to read them, too. I thought you came here to study. Uh, I did. I just couldn't help myself. It's okay. I just... Can't give you too much too soon. And we do really need to study. I guess so. So, what are you working on? Uh, my philosopher assignment. You know, I'm thinking about doing it on Frederick Douglass. You should do it on Huey Newton. Huey Newton wasn't a philosopher. You don't know what you're talking about. dressing like this more often. You know, look so uptight. Well, so, have you found a partner for the dance recital? No, not yet. That's tough, you know, finding someone who's up to speed. Yeah. Those recitals are a big deal. People take them very seriously. Especially me, I'm so competitive. Yeah, I hate to lose, too. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do? I mean, you're one of the best dancers in the class. Oh. So not one of the best dancers in the class, huh? Well, thanks for the offer, but, you know, I can't. What offer? I didn't offer anything. Oh, come on, Terry. What? Look, I know that um, Fabio turned you down. He was too advanced for you, and so am I. Look, everyone in that class is a beginner. We're all there to learn. Ah. Uh, including yourself, I might remind you. Oh, come on, no offense, but there are two kinds of dancers, all right? Naturals and those who will always struggle. Has anyone ever told you that you are arrogant? Uh, because I won't be your partner, I'm arrogant now? Huh? I see, you're one of those who can dish it out but can't take it, huh? Don't presume to know me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's uh, none of my business. I was just making an observation. How human of you. One Americano. Okay. See you around. Yeah. Thanks. So, uh, why did Bird go uh, to do Monica's hair? I thought she wasn't feeling well. Oh, she slept all day yesterday. She's fine now. Oh, I can't believe she's letting Monica pull her into that on the road stuff again. Well, she's not going on the road. She'll probably be gone for a day and a half. It's just an excuse for her and Monica to hang out. Mm. Hey, man. So you're gonna be good, right? Can Daddy have a hug? All right. Hey. So I'll see you later, right? If it's not too late, I'll come by tonight or, or stop by early in the morning. Okay, no problem. Thanks, Max. Uh-huh. Have a good one. All right. 
Okay. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Do some coloring, all right? Where would you get the idea that Huey Newton was an American philosopher? Well, what country was he born in? Well, no, no, I'm not saying he wasn't American, Amon. It's just that he was more of a revolutionary than a philosopher. But it says who? Pardon me? I mean, just because you don't think he was doesn't mean he wasn't. Well, regardless of what I think, revolutionary suicide is not on the lakeside prep reading list. But this school has completely ignored the role that African Americans have played in our history. I mean, you're nothing but a tool of confusion and a propaganda spreader. May I have the book, please? I think it's time to pay Principal Gordon a visit. Brian, this is the third time I've called you in three days. The least you could do is call me back. Thank you. Yep. Charles from your tango class is here to see you. He says he's a friend of yours. Fine, cinnamon. Tango class, Terry? Gloria. What are you doing here? I just happened to be in the neighborhood and thought I'd... Well, you just happen to be a lot of places. Oh, so you got your hair fixed. Yeah, I just had it done. How did you know where I work? You're not stalking me, are you? Uh, you wish. My daughter, remember? Recognized you at the travel agency? Mm-hmm. God knows how I considered you were dressed like, um... Okay, okay. I get the point. What do you want? Just wanted to drop off some videotapes. Thought maybe, uh... They might help you develop some rhythm. I'll check on your progress and um, maybe consider being your dance partner. Wow. There really is no limit to your arrogance. <laughs> is this how you get your kicks? Insulting women? Okay. Truce. I mean... Listen. Uh, maybe I have been a little hard on you because of that remark you made about my daughter. I apologize. Uh-huh. But those videos really did help me. I don't want your videos. Well, uh, maybe we could talk about being partners over dinner tonight. Oh, and I don't want dinner either. Okay. See you in class. I'm gonna knock. That buckwheat-looking motherfucker comes to the door, I want you to blow the lock. I'll rush the spot and put the heat on my man. What if somebody else is in there? Kill him. Look, don't have me going up in there if we ain't official. Get me? Man, I'm good. Let's just get this done. Preacher follow the greenback dollar bill. What the fuck? You Come on, get your ass in the car. Come on, damn it. Good conversation. I thought you was dumb fucking with me. I know you've been talking to Carlo, and I know something's up. I don't know what you're talking about. All you know, that low-lying piece of trash you've been hanging around. Got trouble written all over his underwear. But I'm just gonna take you down to the station and lock your ass up until you decide to talk. They got my wife. Baron owed them some money, and I, and I gotta get it for him or she's dead. Well, it looked like I stopped you in the nick of time. Because the way it looks, you're about to do something that's going to get you and her killed. Willie, I just want my wife back. <sighs> well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. You get back in your car and you go home. If I don't get them any money, they're going to kill my wife. 
and you stop thinking and listen. Now, you can bring me back, but you can get me to Cardinal. And your wife will be part of the package. Hmm? <laughs> so how we do that? I'll float you to cash. And this time, you show up at the meeting. She hasn't called you either. Mm -mm. Lim came there earlier today. Dropped off Jay. Said to be back tonight or in the morning. Mm-hmm. They probably snuck off somewhere and left you holding the bag. Mm. You know, somebody needs to talk to Bert about being more responsible. Hey, well, give her a big sister. Give her a call on us now. Okay. You can cuss her out the way Mama used to do. Uh, nobody can do that like Mama. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the time when she was 12 and packed her little backpack and took the train downtown. Spent the whole day at Navy Pier on vacation. <laughs> Bert, this is Terry and Maxine. Hey, where the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better have some good stories when you and Lim get back from your little freaky getaway, mm. okay? And about the hair, I have a bone to pick with you about Nisi. She shouldn't be allowed to do a dog's hair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's not that funny. <gasps> Just. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hello. It's me. You got my money? Almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. You want almost all of your wife back? Let me speak to her. No, she's fine, but not for long. Look, man, I'm doing everything I can do. I just need another couple of days. Hey, listen to me. I got until tomorrow night. And then I start FedExing her back to you. Look, man, I'm... <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> I'm sick of that school. I don't want to go there anymore. Oh, now, you have got to do better than that, brother. Hell, I get tired of, of towing cars. But I don't quit just because I have a bad day. Well, you never had to go to a white school, so you don't know what it's like. At least at Zora Hurston, I get to learn more about my own culture. Emma, I don't think I didn't notice whose name was in that book. Doesn't mean to go to Zora Hurston? Oh, please, don't tell me this is about some girl. Well, she doesn't go to Zora Hurston. I mean, this is about me. I just want to go somewhere where I feel comfortable. We understand that. And I know it can't be easy being one of the only black students at Lakeside. But you got to understand the bigger picture here, Ahmad. You'll get a better education and, and more opportunities. And you are not leaving Lakeside Prep. We have worked too hard and sacrificed too much just for you to quit. You can't make me go. I am finished with this conversation. And you're right about Lakeside Prep not teaching you everything. The one thing that they can't teach you is respect. So you are grounded until you damn well learn some. How does she kick it like that? Okay. Oh, let me try that again. I got that.
I need a partner. Mm. Hey. What are you doing here? Uh, your mom home? No. Is it okay if I come in? What's up? Um, well, I just got out of school and I wanted to tell you before I got home that I'm on punishment. So I might not be able to come by for a while. Oh, okay. Um, what's all that stuff? You know, you really should call before you come over. Well, maybe I should leave then. Maybe. What? The stuff is for my mama. It's a care package for her. She's in prison. But I thought you said your mom was... It was all lies. But what is she in jail for? Assault. She'll be out in 11 months. Oh, well, how could she leave you here alone? I mean, it's not exactly the safest neighborhood. Well, my aunt lives two floors down, and she checks on me every day. I mean, can't your mother get in trouble for that? Well... She grew up in foster homes. She didn't want me to go through it, she did. Your mom must really be some. Yeah. She is. Well, um, you can add me to the list of people who's going to be looking out for you. How are you going to do that if you're on punishment? I got my ways. Yeah, go ahead, baby. It's your turn. Can I talk to you for a minute? Of course, sweetheart. Come in. <sighs> well, I'm sorry for the way I've been acting lately. You know, I just didn't know how to explain it so you guys understand. It just seems that no matter what I do, I can't fit in. I'm always getting in trouble for things that other students seem to get away with. Dad, please, I know you know what I'm talking about. Of course I do, son. But what you have to realize is you don't know everything. And this school is just an example of, uh, of the real world. I mean, Lakeside Prep has been good for me. Right. Well, you know, I just feel like I'm missing out on something different. Son, we value your opinion. But how you present it can be just as important if you want to be heard. As soon as I opened my mouth, I knew I was disrespecting Mr. Link. But, you know, I felt cornered, and that's just the way it came out. Well, knowledge and passion can be a dangerous thing if you don't have the skills to understand them. I mean, you can lose your temper. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, you've said something you can't take back. Exactly. I did a book report on a philosopher who was on a book list. And I scheduled my detention. Oh. Yeah, good, son. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Uh, hey, I'm on. Uh, since you've been living up to your responsibilities, and I guess we can let you off punishment. Thank you. <laughs> I never said that, Brian. No. Look, either one of us could look back on this situation in five years and know it wasn't going to work out. Because... Look, I'm calling because you're my best friend, and I'm hurt that after going through school... T no, Brian, let me finish. <sighs> okay. It's not my fault it didn't work out. You know, I can't understand how you can just toss aside a friendship so easily. Because, Brian?
You all right? I'm fine. I know you're going to find this hard to believe. I wouldn't waste my breath then. But uh, I was having trouble with a resolution. Look. Uh, do you mind if we practice a bit? I'm really not in the mood. Might take your mind off whatever's bothering you. Come on. One dance. You know I'm not going to take no for an answer. You know, you're not only arrogant, but you're also pushy. <laughs> Some more fluid. Thank you. Senor Gavito? I told you I don't need tapes to teach me how to dance. Liar. <laughs> okay, I watched the tapes. Gavito knows a thing or two. I told you? Yes, you did. Yes. Yes, what? I'll be your partner. I wasn't asking. But you did ask. No, I didn't. Do you want to win or what? Okay. Your left foot forward, my right foot back, okay? That's oh, point. man. <laughs> We're never going to win like that. Mr. Van Adams. What's with the bag of diapers? Yo, kill the jokes, man. You know, the Baron told me he could be resourceful. I actually didn't believe it until now. Whatever, man. I got your money. Where's my wife? This isn't bargain bonanza. I could kill you now and take my money. Dump both you and your wife in the lake. Now, for the last time, give me my money. I'm not doing shit until I see my wife. Get her. One more thing before you go. Your call is a strong link. A long chain. Very bad people. Now he's gonna roll over on his bosses. That means none of this ever happened. Which means the two of you don't tell anybody. If you do, you're not only putting my investigation in everything, but your family as well. Do we understand each other? Yeah. It's good. We'll see you in a couple of days and put our agreement in black and white. Now you're free to go.
Ida. They didn't try to, to do anything. I, I mean, they didn't try to take it. You need to go sleep in the other room. Bert, I'm sorry. I mean, I know sorry isn't good enough, but I'm... I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Bert, please. Good night, love. Look, if we could just talk about this, we could get through this. you need. 